Hello, my name is Danny Z. I am the HealthyPlace.com blogger for mental health for the digital generation. Today I want to share with you a couple tips that I have learned throughout the years for how to make a relationship work if you have mental health problems. So these are things that I have done in the past and I have experience with not doing them also, so I've seen how it can benefit or damage a relationship if you're doing these things or not. So the first tip is to make sure your partner is well educated about your mental health condition. So for me, I have borderline personality disorder and it's a very misunderstood diagnosis. So whenever I was online doing my research about BPD and I would come across an article that I could totally relate to, I would take it and read it to my boyfriend and just have a discussion with him about it, um, asking him, you know, has he ever seen me displaying any of those symptoms or characteristics and how we can handle it if any of that should come up. And it just helped him to be more empathetic and understanding of me. So if you want, you can give your partner reading material and read to them. So just to help them to learn more about the things that you're going through. My number one most important piece of advice for how to make a relationship work if you have mental health problems is to take responsibility for your own recovery and do whatever it takes to get better for yourself. This is where I feel I went wrong in my last relationship. I placed too much I, I placed too many expectations on my relationship on my boyfriend to make me happy and all these external things I was not taking responsibility for my recovery I just expected him to make me feel better so you can't rely on all these external things to make you feel better when your problem isn't something external it's something going on in here it's inside you so you have to take responsibility and work to improve yourself because when you place those expectations upon the people around you it is unfair to them and it, it lets you down and it lets them down so it just ends up damaging the relationships so needless to say my relationships not work out because I place too much dependence upon him to make me feel better and now that I'm forced to, I've been forced to take responsibility for my own recovery and my own happiness since I am single I actually am doing a lot better than I was when I was in a relationship. So I feel like it's a lesson that I have learned the hard way that I need to be responsible for my own recovery. So this is a lesson that I'm going to take with me into my next relationship. Just know that when you are in a relationship, of course you can depend on your partner for love and support. When you are going through a tough time with your mental illness, but you can't rely on them to make you better or to cure you. It's all up to you to really get down to the roots of your problems and to do the therapy, do the medications and all that stuff to take care of yourself. So hopefully this has been helpful. Thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.